hello and uh, well, a warm welcome back to Street Pigeon MTB. So today I'm making a slightly different video. Um, I'm joining my friend Nick at Fall Line Cycles and we're going to do a how-to video. We're really keen to give this a go. Um, it's new for both of us. Um, what we'd really appreciate is if you watch the video, um, give us some ideas in the format if you think it works um, but more importantly if you like the video and you think that these would be quite useful to have um, put your ideas for how-to videos in the comments and what we'll do is we'll get together and try and produce a little short series um, of how-to videos based at fall line cycle so yeah we'll give it a go hopefully enjoy um, let's go and see what we're doing today Right, today we're looking at replacing this linkage here with the Bird Triple R linkage. Now, um, the reason I'm doing this is the Bird Triple R linkage actually changes the um, leverage curve. So basically what I'm looking for is a little less progression. This is a really progressive curve combined with the air shock is also really progressive. And at the moment, I'm not really utilizing the best of the travel. So I'm gonna change this linkage here with the help of Nick. Um, and talk through how we do that. So let's get cracking. So we're just gonna have a look at the tools and equipment needed to change the linkage on Jamie's bird. We've got a five mil and a six mil Allen key, uh, torque wrench, five mil and six mil uh, adapters for the torque wrench, some Loctite 242 and some uh, assembly grease. And of course we've got the linkage itself. To make your life easier, um, what we're going to do is just take the wheel out uh, on the back of the bike and that uh, prevents the um, linkage having uh, weight in it when we take the, the linkage out. As Jamie's running um, SRAM gears, uh, we're going to take the uh, rear mech and lock it off, which makes removing the back wheel much, much easier. Just got a piece of cardboard to act as a spacer to take any room out so when the shock is lowered out the back end doesn't swing and, and chip the paint. Um, so the first step is to remove the 6mm bolt at the back of the shock. Just ease that out and rest it up. The next procedure is to um, take the lower bolt out of the linkage. Uh, this has a five mil Allen key uh, from the drive side. So as we turn clockwise, we'll pop it through and out it comes. Then we can put that to one side on, the, on your workbench. Okay, so it's now time just to take the uh, black linkage out and ease it out of the frame, just give it a bit of a wobble, and out she comes. So uh, we're now into reassembly, um, and we're going to um, prep the axles and bolts. I've uh, got some assembly grease uh, for the threads on the main axle, and then on the uh, locking collet bolt. Uh, we've got uh, Loctite on the threads. Now I'm going to um, push all the uh, main axles uh, which have been prepped uh, through the linkage, give it a wiggle and push it into the, through the bearings. Same. Push. And then from the drive side, it's going to be anti clockwise get the threads to catch and start to bring the axle in. Just as it's starting to nip up, hold there, 
and come back with the torque wrench and do them up to the correct torques. Swap to the 6mm Allen key for the shock bolt. So we're just going to nip up the main axle bolt so they're snug in the bearings. And then it's just a case of going to the locking side and doing those up to seven Newton meters. And then we can have a double check of the shock bolts that are also seven Newton meters. Okay, the last thing you'll have to do is refit your rear wheel. Check everything's okay with the, the back wheel and the gears and the brakes. Um, and then um, have a play with the shock pressures and set those for the new uh, linkage rate.